Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakha, Twist Bengal, India. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is a totally unedited, a real time surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away. We can see that the people is well dilated at this time. Capsular axis is done with this uterata forceps. The capsular tag is raised by the tip of the uterata. The capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around and an adequate sized rexis is achieved. And now hydro dissection is done. As soon as hydro is done, you can see that the people has become a bit smaller than it was earlier. Uh, as we inject visco again, the people regains its previous size. And now see what happens as we aspirate some cortex with vacuum and start direct job. The FACO tip goes in, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now as I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, see the people has become very small. And as I use only irrigation, the people becomes little more in size. I see at this time the iris is tending to prolapse through the side port. The people has become very small at this time, about 3 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter. So, to avoid iris injury in this case, what should we do? See this. I have divided the nucleus into four pieces. Now I come out. Iris injury hasn't occurred yet. Now I inject visco. With visco, the people dilates again. And now my plan is to manage the nuclear pieces single-handedly without using the side port. And it is possible when the density of the nucleus is such, not very hard, we can easily manage the nuclear pieces single-handedly in this way. We hold the nuclear pieces and emulsify it at the central 3 millimeter safe zone. And during emulsification of the last piece, I use the chopper once, divide it into two pieces, come out so that the iris doesn't tend to prolapse through the side port. And see how we can manage the nucleus without using the chopper. I have used it only for division of the nucleus into four pieces and during management of the last nuclear piece where I used the chopper to divide the last piece into two smaller pieces. And now I use a Simco cannula to remove the cortex. You can use bimanual, but with bimanual IA, there will be more tendency of iris prolapse. I've touched the iris at around 8 o'clock twice. So the people has become more small and it is done. The cortex is 
removed. Yes, a little bit of cortex is sticking to the posterior capsule. Yes, it is removed. And now, in such cases, in such cases of mild intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, mild IFIS, we can use irrigation for hydroimplantation, but the iris will tend to prolapse again and there will be more iris injury. So, better we use visco, fill up the capsular bag and the anterior chamber and implant the intraocular lens in this way. When we use visco, the people is dilated a little bit and it is round and we can easily implant the intraocular lens in the capsular bag. And now we have to remove the visco that we have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. First I use Simco, irrigate the anterior chamber, irrigate and aspirate for some time. And now I try to go behind the lens. and irrigate the capsular bag for removal of visco. See the size of the people has become about 3.5 to 4 millimeter at this time. The aim of this video is to show that we can avoid iris injury by doing single-handed FACO. We have to use the chopper only to divide the nucleus into pieces. Then the nuclear pieces can be managed easily single-handedly and we can avoid iris injury. And always remember that in cases of IFIS, irrigation should be removed first from the anterior chamber and then the aspiration or the chopper, whatever is there, the side port instruments should be removed later. First, remove the irrigation and then remove the aspiration. If we remove the aspiration cannula first and irrigation is there, then there will be iris prolapse and more iris injury. Visco has been nicely removed and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. We have closed the side port nicely and the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills and Hope it has given you the idea that we can do single-handed FACO to avoid iris injury in cases with intraoperative floppy iris syndrome.